Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new ultimate legends in the game. Now I do want to say one thing, big shout out to all you guys for all the support yesterday. You guys absolutely just destroyed on all three of my videos from yesterday. If you haven't seen them, definitely going to check it out, but I want to say thank you guys very much for all of the support. I also want to say shout out to Noah Winslow for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shout out in the next video, definitely drop a like in the bid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel and turn that notification bell on. Now, I do plan on doing a gameplay later today. I also want to know, do you guys want to see me do a giant get a gold player pack opening okay so i'm gonna give you guys two options here you let me know which one you want to see down below and i'll probably do the one that you guys want to see most of because i want to be honest here i posted it on twitter last night i did like 10 get a goals right i pulled two 86 overall quick sells. i pulled a zeke and a julio jones so getting gold player packs are seriously on fire right now so if you guys want to see me do maybe a 1 million coin get a gold player pack opening i can definitely get that done for you guys so that would be what so we're looking at a 200 get a gold player pack opening for series 6 to test out the pack like if you guys want to see it drop a like on the video you guys get this video to 2000 likes okay 2000 likes should be easy for y'all 2000 likes this video and i will do a 200 get a gold player pack before you guys later today i also do plan on doing a gameplay probably with the new ultimate legends you guys know i'm about to open up some ultimate legend player packs for you guys but uh when it comes to the new players there's actually one that i really want to get and it's actually the ltd now i may add him into the gameplay just because i actually do have the card uh it's christian okoye and i have a power of pass so why not? Let's go ahead and get the player, I suppose. So Christian Okoye here, there should be a training sp uh, slot here. So he goes up to 95 overall, and then there's another one to take him to 96. Now he has a 98 overall card, but you can make it 99, which we do have a 98 overall power pass. So I'm going to use it on Christian Okoye. And if you guys want to see me use Christian Okoye at running back later today, let me know down below. So in terms of his abilities, tier one, he actually does get Bruiser, which is pretty nice. He also gets Running Back Apprentice inside Zone Guru, so I actually may put that on in there. Uh, it looks like he doesn't really get that great of abilities, unfortunately, but we'll just have to see what we can do. I could put Bruiser on him, and then I could put Inside Zone and maybe running back apprentice i guess we'll see what we can do but we do have christian okoye on the team now with zone run maxed out right and with the uh, john madden rushing tier one and sprinter maxed out these are his stats now you guys can see 97 speed 94 strength 99 carrying he also has just, uh, just amazing run blocking stats I mean, that's ridiculous but in terms of him actually running the ball, right? He's got 98 acceleration. Uh, he's got a spinning juke of obviously not going to be very good. You know, 84 juke move. But he does have 98 stiff arm. This card should be absolutely insane. So if you want to see a Christian Okoye gameplay later today, let me know down below. Uh, he also has a 99 trucking. So with 97 speed, 99 trucking, or what was it, 97 trucking, I believe, or was it actually 99? Like 99 trucking with 97 speed, and then of course, pretty dang good stiff arm. I mean, he could definitely be a tank. So if you guys see the gameplay, let me know down below. I'll see if I can switch him over to running back. But I also have like Jadavion Clowney. I have a lot of players on the team that I just haven't done gameplays with yet because I've just been really busy. But trust me, I have been picking up new players every single day for the team. I may have to do a lineup update as well because honestly, we we have a lot of new players in the squad. But let's get into these Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. Starting off with Herman Moore in the very first pack here and a 90 overall Sam Darnold. Okay, Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs, man. These bad boys are always super heat for me. 93 autogram and there's no way. 95 Dan Deardorff. That's the very first Ultimate Fantasy Pack of the video. We get ourselves a 90 Darnold, a 93 Herman Moore, and then a 93 Auto and a 95 Dan Deardorff. That is insane. 
and we still have five more packs to get into so let's get into the rest of these packs now as for the two other set legends that we have for today we also have mean joe green and joe thomas again two players i probably want to pick up uh joe thomas i definitely will pick up i think as for mean joe uh, i saw his stats yesterday Nah, I'm not really too interested, but maybe I'll pick him up either which way as I get an 88 overall Joe Thomas, and I guess I'll go with the Joe Thomas and Mean Joe Green set pieces right there, because honestly, I am going to pick up Joe Thomas more than likely. We'll have to see exactly how he stacks up in terms of like impact block and everything versus, I think it's Walter Jones. I currently have a left tackle, but I do have some, uh, I can't even think of his name now. I do have some Joe Thomas like series redux cards and everything i've basically just been saving him because i expected to want to go ahead and get him we'll go with the 78 though next pack around two i should say we get a big x here 93 herman moore again and i guess we'll go with the 88 overall calvin could have gone with the rob ninkovich there but i guess i'll just go with the calvin johnson because it's calvin you know had a little bit of fun three more packs remaining though let's see if we can get the pack look to keep rolling, man. It's been good so far as you get a Jonathan Abram. I, I actually am happy that I skipped that animation because I probably would have thought it was going to be like Lamar and we would have got Jonathan Abram. I would have been pretty mad. We'll go with the 76 there. Please, please, please. Clowny. That's a really, really good pull because right now Clowny is actually going for a lot of coins. Uh, of course, you guys know he has that new card out. So this Clowny is like, I think like 400k. He's like 300k or so. He is going for a lot, a lot of coins. So we got two series reluxes in that pack. And these packs are looking good. We have two more packs remaining though. Then we'll check out the auction block. By the way, make sure you guys play your solos. Do not forget to play your ultimate legend solos, man. Uh, I, I feel really bad for people that do miss those. I feel like they'll put out more to like catch up for anyone that has missed maybe, you know, a couple weeks, whatever. But don't miss them. 96 Marcus Allen and a 95 Herman Moore. Holy crap. These packs are insane. Round number one wasn't anything crazy, but round two, 95 Herman Moore and 96 overall Marcus Allen. If this was a bundle, if I did this bundle, I'd be very, very pleased with how this bundle has gone. But final ultimate legend fantasy pack here. We get an 86, 88, 93 Morgan Moses and a 90 overall Demario Davis all in round number one are you serious if we even get a big x here in round two this is going to be insane can we get a big x can we get one we don't but i don't even care like even though round number two wasn't that great that round number one was very very good so ultimate legend fantasy packs were a big fat w today that's your debut i'm telling you guys that clown is going for a lot a lot of coins uh, let's go ahead and take a look though at the new ultimate legends real quick actually let me just look up that clowny because the last thing that i remember he was over 300k i think he may still be over 300k so let's go ahead and see exactly what jadavion clowny's 92 overall is going for currently and 400k yeah he is crazy crazy expensive so do we make our coins back off that pack opening absolutely 110 percent we made all of our coins back off that pack opening with that redux clowny and all the other pulls we got yeah that was pretty dang insane now i do want to say the ultimate legends for today are actually 98 overalls i believe all three of them so that's really good but me and joe green you guys see 98 overall compared to warren sap here's the thing right speed power him up he's got the same speed acceleration that's the one issue i have with this card is the excel is not that great strength though be plus four tackling be plus five player could be minus three which doesn't really matter block shed 99 power move the same at 96 right so do you want mean joe or do you just stick with warren sap because honestly i'm not really sure who i want to go with here but if we take a look at maybe like the hit power you're at a 94 over 86 which is a pretty big difference there uh, not much different aside from just that. I mean, Pursuit, you got a 94 over a 90. So really not much else. Impact block, 97 over 94. So Mean Joe Green, I might pick him up, right? I might keep him for the team. Be a 99 overall D2. You guys see, I literally have the card ready to go. Let me know. Do I get Mean Joe Green? Do you guys see him in the gameplay? Comment down below and let me know. But I also do really want to get this Joe Thomas card. Yes, he's going for a million coins, though. So 93 strength, 96 awareness, 98 pass block, 95 pass block power, 98 pass block finesse. And then, of course, he has a 95 run block, 92 run block power, and 96 run block finesse. So he'd basically be 
the better pass blocker, right? Better awareness, not as good strength though. Run blocking the same, literally like all the run blocking stats the same, except for run block finesse would be better. Speed would be one less, acceleration would be less, agility would be less. Let's take a look at the impact block and the lead block though. Okay, so impact would be a 96. That's a big difference there. And the lead block would be, let's see, 95. So let me know down below, should I pick up Joe Thomas over Walter Jones? And should I pick up Mean Joe Green over Warren Sapp? Because honestly, I'm not really sure which of the guys I want to get. You guys see though, Mean Joe currently at 700k, Joe Thomas at around a million coins. Hopefully they'll drop down though because I'm not spending that much on a DT or a left tackle. But... I did pick up Christian Okoye, so we will be dropping some gameplay with him later today. I'm going to try my best to get him in at like, running back, see what he can actually do there. Also, you guys can see I do have Jadavion Clowney on the team, so there's going to be a lot of new players. But like I said, 2,000 likes in the video. I'll do a 200 get a gold player pack I mean, for you guys later today. So if you want to see that video, definitely make sure you guys drop a like on the vid. And I may even do an Ultimate Legends bundle tomorrow because that pack, like that pack right there, that was really good, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about the new Ultimate Legends. I'd say I'm very excited. They are all 98 overalls. Definitely a step in the right direction, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.